I was talking about your gift being your wealth, living your purpose. And while you're at it, making some good money. Someone has mastered the art of this, and she's in the building here with me. She looks amazing. <laughs> she brought her filter. Oh, my God. And, of course, we're going to be talking about many things. Um, it's 2021. I'm hanging out with entrepreneur and founder of Makeup by Rose, Rose Ntongondu. Welcome to the Spice Drive. Thank you, Mimi. You look fabulous. Good to see you again. Good to see you. We don't know. We go way back. No, we go way, like, way back. Yeah. And you've always looked exactly the same. Thank you. Um, you walk around with your filter exactly as she looks on Instagram is the way she looks right here. <laughs> like she walks around with a filter. I don't know how oh you do God. it. But um, you are in the makeup business. Yes. Some call it superficial. And yeah. uh, there's also people who look at it as, why do women need makeup anyway? Yeah. And is it a necessity? Yeah. You have found a gold mine yeah. in an industry and a field where women feel beautiful, yeah. empowered, mm -hmm. and you're also giving opportunities. We're going to yeah. get into yeah. uh, your business. But first things mm -hmm. first, who's Rose Ntongondu? Hey, Rose Ntongondu is very many things. So yeah. number one, I've been a makeup artist for the past 13 years. 13? So th th yeah, 13 wow. years, like more than a decade. And I love it. And it's not superficial, by the way. Mm. Let me tell you, beauty is very personal to women. Right. So I'm a mother, I'm a wife, uh, I have two kids. Uh, I love my job because uh, mm. what I've realized is most of the women that come to me yeah. don't come to me wanting to change how they look. Right. It's actually just to boost right. how they feel. And Even enhance. when I wear makeup, exactly, right. enhance. So makeup is not about changing how women look. It's about boosting their self-esteem. And women are very important. We do everything. We are mothers. No one thinks about us. We think about other people. Right. So if a woman can take a break and, and, and if I wear a foundation and lashes and, and feel good, so why not? Why not? So for me, I have actually, I use beauty to change how women feel about themselves. Right. So every time a woman comes, I want to know her story. Like, mm. why is she doing it? Like, mm. like uh, is she having a hard day? Sometimes a client comes and they just open up. Mm. They're having issues with right. their hubby. They just had a hard day. They just need to relax. Right. So for women, it's personal. Wow. Very so personal. women open up to you and then you yeah. give them a transformational yeah. face beat. Yeah. And from the inside out, yeah. you can see, you know, the confidence, the esteem, yeah. um, you know, gets a boost. Um, yeah. and, and you have the ability to sort of tap into whatever it is that they're going through. So it's not yeah. just, you know, the outward appearance. Yeah. It's working from the inside. Yeah. When was your first, um, you know, instance you know when you when you first fell in love with the brushes and the makeup and you thought to yourself wow i want to do this kind of stuff i i actually fell in love with makeup a long time ago i was in study four wow. grade four because i remember my elder sister had a salon yes back home yes so i i remember i used to steal her lipsticks you remember that green yes. irene lipstick wow and for me i used to go to her salon my sister is not a makeup artist but she's yes. a, a celebrity like big yeah, yeah stylist in the US. I loved what she did. Now, what I loved was not the hair part. Right. It's the change. Like, you know that moment when, when a woman looks in the mirror and smiles, they cry like when mm. you do the, their hair and then they feel more beautiful. For me, I fell in love with that. So for me, even with the makeup, now, I, for me, I fo focus on the face. Mm. I love changing how a woman feels right. by, by, you know, adding something to her face. Right. So for me, that moment when, like, I do makeup for a bride, and or for someone's birthday and they look in the mirror and smile or cry that's everything for me sweetheart everything interestingly yeah. you say that but i remember when you did makeup at my wedding yeah and i was like wow and you didn't do too much yeah. it didn't feel heavy yeah um but you did a pretty good job and that was yeah. you know the first time you yeah. gave me a proper yeah. beat yeah and i thought to myself wow she's good at what she does yeah. um there's a lot of makeup artists yeah. and you know some people think pick up a brush then yeah. you're a makeup artist yeah. and there's an inflation of yeah. many people yeah. who are uh, self-styled makeup artists. Exactly. So you fall in love with it. You love how you boost women's esteem yeah. and then you turn it into a business. Yeah, a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about Makeup by Rose. So uh, Makeup by Rose, people think it's about me. It's not about me. Makeup yeah. by Rose, like my, my staff is Makeup by Rose. My yeah. clients are Makeup by Rose. So for us, we say beauty with a difference. Mm. For us, when you come to us, by the time you leave, you're smiling. Yeah. You feel different. If right. your moods were down, they need to be up. Mm. So Makeup by Rose is about using beauty to empower women, how mm. women feel. Like with the training that we do, uh, 
my makeup training is comp- I don't think anyone in the world does what I do. Yeah. Uh, the training is not about giving them the skill alone. It's mm. about actually showing them how to do it. We also give them um what do you people skills we give them we show them how to to make it in the world. Like I teach them like the do's and don'ts like what mm. are the challenges they're going to get like as a makeup artist when you're a beauty preneur like what are you supposed to do how are you supposed to look like. I help them yes. actually get there confidence up before they get into the business so we right. do a lot of mentorship yes and also with uh, we also do uh, work with cancer patients like yes. i've been the goodwill ambassador for um, Nairobi hospice for the longest time nice uh, so i i have like i haven't done it for like two years because mm. when my mom passed away i just lost my you know uh, so but with the we, i call it i am beautiful and i know it mm. you know what that means is you don't have to tell me I'm beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. I right. do whatever I can to feel beautiful mm. for me. So mm. like with the Nairobi Hospice what we do is we have a day to pamper the cancer patients. Some of them have like a week. Mm. So what I've realized with beauty is it completely changes how women feel about themselves. Right. I remember I, last year I had a student who she she came in and did the one month training. Mm. She didn't want to do it as a makeup uh, uh, artist. Yes. But then I asked her why are you doing this? Uh, and then she was like cuz my husband likes women who like makeup. Wow. That was honest. So like she used to wear foundations that were lighter than her and she was trying to bleach herself. So for me I try and get the story. There's yeah. always a story with women. There's always they, there's exactly, always something behind. Exactly. Sometimes a woman will go to the salon get a pedicure cuz she's had a long day. When she gets those nails done she feels beautiful. That's everything. And let me tell you women we are mothers, we are we are sisters, we take care of other people. So if we can do something for ourselves and feel beautiful and feel more confident why not so for me the beauty industry makeup by rose is a change mm. it's a movement it's a movement yes. i love that yes. i'm going to get into another question where um you know i'm curious whether there's guys your allies yeah. they're yeah. also men but they're passionate yeah. about being part of the movement as yeah. you call it yeah. i'm going to get into that question okay. in a moment but you know i interestingly i've i've seen a lot of people who start and stop in the mm-hmm. beauty industry mm-hmm. um when it comes to the trends yeah. and when it comes to standards of beauty in different places around the world yeah. um it, it's it's a shaky business yeah. you know you, you just never know what the next hot thing is going to mm-hmm. be mm-hmm. how have you managed to do this for 13 years because today it's yeah. all about the lashes yeah. tomorrow they want women to look a certain way i mean there's constant change when it comes to what a typical beauty yeah. is about and of course with african women yeah. um there is a perception that yeah. you know they figured out what we look like and what we mm-hmm. should mm-hmm. we should be about exactly what's your take on the industry in itself the industry uh, i will tell you i've been here for 13 years and starting up was not easy because mm. i got a, a lot of people fighting me you know people t- it's like how how can i say it's it's like a pie mm. like people don't understand like uh, when i'm training i tell i tell my students only a small piece has, has been taken and there's right. so many people trying to fight you not to get in mm. because there's a lot of money mm. in in the beauty industry in the beauty industry you can make anything from 3 uh, from 30000 from 15000 a month to 3 million or more a, a month? month yes kenya money over uganda kenya shillings money. okay kenya money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it it all depends on what you do and how you do it So now staying you have to stay relevant that's the other thing and yeah. then the one thing that's very wrong especially with the Kenyan beauty industry is people are so fake fake the fake you mean with the foundation and the eyelashes not really, or not really fake like, as like people the, what they they show on social media right. you need to be real mm. you see like for me the one reason i got a following was because I, i i spoke my story right like where i've come from right. people most people want to show us i i came from runda right you know and and i was born wearing bling mm. you know and that's not heels. who they I are born, no rose tell us about yeah. your story tell us about your story oh my god my story is like when i started uh, in the beauty industry like i'm telling you it was really hard like penetrating because you know it's full of women women block you women are not bad people that's how we are they mm. blocked me mm. i like everywhere i went walls everywhere so i realized like there was no doors opening for me so i had to break them and make wow. my own door mm. yeah so if there's no opportunities if there's no window or door open you have to make your own so for me like when i started the the my 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 career I had to do very many odd jobs i call them odd jobs people get upset yes. but for me they were odd jobs because that's not what i wanted to do right so i had to sell popcorn in the roadside i have to sell uh, onions and potatoes in in korogosho mm. i had to sell in uh, uh, 
uh, I remember I used to bring onions from Meru and sell at Mutindo Market. Mm. Sometimes I'll do door to door. All the while, I had I, I was focusing on my beauty career. I needed to get money to get started. I needed to get money to put together a makeup kit and right. all that. So for me, the problem with young people these days is there is no focus. Mm. You see this, like you start. Most people start. Uh, we get into the makeup industry and they're like, ah, it's not what I wanted. Why? Because mm. they are looking at the money part, but number one, they don't want to put in the hard work. Right. And then there is no focus. Like you need to have a plan A to Z. Right. If, when you get to A, people always say A to. Mm. A to B or C. Mm. Go all the way to Z and then start again. You need to make it work. I love that. Yes. Also to know that <laughs> while you're doing all these other things, yeah. at the back of your mind, yeah. at the back of your mind, there's yeah. that focus and, the, and the goal. you're consistent about exactly. where you're going. Yes. I mean, it sounds like a fairy tale, but looking back, I'm thinking, you could have been distracted many times. Yeah. You're a beautiful woman. Huh? Yeah. You could have been like, <laughs> oh. I don't even need to struggle like this, yeah, but I like I that you're saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you also talked about you also talked about women blocking each other. It's interesting because yeah. we've had this topic here on the show, yeah. and for you to say firsthand, you've had yeah. women not supporting you, and, and you know it's dominated by they, women. They still don't. Mm. Most of them still try to, but right now there's nothing they can do. Wow. And then I, I remember even when I started training, I remember someone was like a makeup artist who was very big at that time. Mm. Come, she's like, Rose, you're very stupid. Mm. Why would you train so many people to do what you do? Mm. And I actually thought about it and I was like, and I remember I went back to my mom and I was like, am I doing something wrong? Like self-sabotage. And then I realized, you know, like no one can dim your star. And then Monique, there are many people doing radio, but there can only be one Monique. You know, there's something that God put in you mm. that no one else can take away. You can have many doctors, but everyone has their their piece, right. you know, it's all about how you do it. Mm. If you start uh, your career as a makeup artist, if you only look at the money, you don't put in the work and it is hard. Yeah. You know, like people, for you to make money, when you're starting your career, this is how it's like climbing a ladder. Right. You look for the clients. Once they know you, you don't look for them anymore. They look for you. You're but, constantly yeah. you're constantly booked. Um, yeah. Looking at your social media pages, yeah. it's yeah. like weekend after weekend, uh, yeah. people will call you from county to county. Yeah. You traverse this country with your brush. It's yeah. like your magic wand, your yeah. secret weapon. Yeah. Yeah? And and somehow, you are in high demand at a time where there are people thinking, yeah. "I will do whatever I can do just to yeah. put food on my table." Exactly. It must be a blessing. To yeah. know that you are... It is... I don't take it for granted. Like yeah. At times, like, we were even speaking with my PA, and I, I, I'm very close with my staff. Yeah. And we were like, how did we get to this point? Because I remember days when I would go down on my knees beside by a small three-inch mattress yeah. and tell God, please give me a job. And I would get a job one time and then get it three months later. Mm. Now we are... We get so booked that I have to take clients at 5 a.m. just to fit them in. Wow. Like yesterday, a client calls me. and She's like, Rose, I'm going back to Malindi. Please slot me in. That's when I did the, the browse at 6 a.m. Wow. Because I had no time. The whole week we are booked. Sometimes we are booked two months. So you have to find ways to, sometimes I'll, I'll work Sunday though. I'm not sub and I look at it and I'm like, I, I don't, it's not like there's anything that I gave to God. I just, you, number one, you need to trust in God. Number one, mm. pray a lot. And then number two, you need to put in the work. Mm. It, it's never magic. Mm. Do not let social media fool you. Mm. Like, like you can start this and then start making money. Most of the bloggers you see mm. do not have money. Are we preaching? Yes. Are we? Do not, like most people or that you see on social media. Right. With the, with the cars and everything, yeah. that is all fake. Mm -hmm. And for me, I don't like the fakeness part. I don't do fake. I don't do fake. I'm not a groupie. And it's all about keeping I, it I'm, real. I'm, yeah. And also teaching, Completely. teaching, um, you know, the girls and, and the students that you're exactly. mentoring about the reality yeah. of the industry. Yeah. And it's not going to be easy. Yeah, no. I hear it's savage in that beauty yes. world eh? where, you mean. know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things, Aye. undercutting and stuff like that. Yeah. But somehow you've stayed afloat. It's been yeah. 13 years. You're still yeah. going strong. Yeah. How many students do you have enrolled at your academy? Every month we train at least 100. Mm. Every month. Every month. Every month. And we have both professional and personal. Mm. So the personal is where we train you how yeah. to do your own personal makeup the right way. Right. And um, most people don't understand what makeup is. Like, you don't have to pile on foundation. Mm. For you. It's just 
you, I can do makeup on you and you look like you're not wearing makeup. Right, it's so, technique. Yeah, the professional part is where we teach you to do makeup as a business. And after we teach you, we actually hold your hand. So like we take our students to like events and stuff like that where they're able to grow and to see how it's actually done. Hmm. Sometimes we give them, uh, we, we get them other companies to give them internship. At times we do it ourselves. So for me, like we have this business section in our training where I teach them I'm real with them about the industry, like mm. the ugly and the good part. Right. I teach them how to get it and how to actually make money and they're actually doing it. I have one yeah. interesting question mm. Um, mm. because I know there's someone listening in, yeah. you know, maybe it wasn't even part of the plan, but they're thinking, yeah. hey, how much did she say again you can make? Uh -huh. um, so on average, yeah. as a professional makeup artist in Kenya yeah. this year, yeah. how much can you fetch if you were serious about enrolling and going through the course and doing mm. it on a professional level? Yeah. On average, how much can you make? So now, you know, when it comes to makeup artistry, there's so much you can do. Uh, someone will come and train and then she'll be like, I'll focus on bridal. Right. Someone else will be like, I'll do runway. Remember, runway, it's not every day. Right. So for me, I always, I push my students to learn the normal makeup. That way you can actually get clients booking you every day. Mm. You know, come do my makeup. I have a function. I have a dinner. I have a date, etc. When you're starting, I won't lie to you, you can start with anything from 15, 20, 30,000 shillings. Right. Now, when you start, you, you, you have the option of starting selling the product. Mm. You understand? Mm. You can start doing consultations. You can start doing skincare. So that's how it goes. It's like, that's why it's, I said it's like a ladder. You end up making a lot of money in a month. Wow. You can end up making 2M, 1M, 3M. Mm. Yeah, it and it's all about how much work you're putting in. Put and in it's the also work. the knowledge yeah. and, the, and, 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 you know, understanding the work that you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Um, we're caught up in a very interesting time yeah. um, where we have this thing called social distancing. Yeah. I must say, as a makeup artist, you have to be very close to a client, yeah, eh? yeah. Uh, there's people who are thinking, well, I want to get my makeup done for the weekend. I'm having this but brunch, I'm but I'm scared because yeah. I don't want a makeup artist yeah. close to me. Yeah. Have you had clients with that issue um, and, and it poses a challenge yeah. and you're seeing a lot of makeup artists out of work because now mm -hmm. we have this COVID-19 issue? Let me tell you, it's it's tough. Like I have friends who have, um, I, number one, I have a hairstylist friend who hasn't worked since COVID started. Wow. I have a makeup artist friend who's losing hope. So I actually have a meeting with him mm. so, uh, uh, like in the next week. Mm. So now this is a thing. When, like, I'll talk about the corona issue. Even yes. we were affected. But then what I did, along uh, a couple of years back, before I started, I was doing skincare. Mm. And then my, Devi, mm. your friend, yes. my <laughs> hubby was like, why can't we bring back the skincare mm. since people are very scared of? Yes. The makeup part. So like for us, we make sure we sanitize. We have masks very tight the yes. whole time. We, we, te we test the temperature and all that. We are trying to be safe. But you know, you can't shut down because at the end of the day, you need to make bread. Right. You know, it's, it's but it's, I, I feel like makeup artists, when, when COVID came, they were very confused, mm. very confused and scared. They're scared about their own health. And then there's no booking. So for me, if you saw how I was working during COVID, yeah. I just went all out. Yeah. I brought new services, the powder brows, right. the permanent makeup. I, I was calling clients. I actually took my client list book and yeah. started calling them one by one. Right. Like, we'll keep you safe. And then some of them would book and then I would sell products and stuff like that. So it's all about showing clients you are actually keeping them safe. And then there's the other thing that people don't do in business. You need to follow up with your clients. Mm. Call them and be like, how are you? If, if you know that your baby is sick, how, how's your baby? When Can you come for yes. micro-needling next week? They're like, ah, no, keep following up. Call them you need to maintain week. those personal exactly. relationships. No, the problem with people is you get money, forget that client. Get mm. money, forget that client. So just... Keep it consistent. Be human. Everything with even the marketing on social media. And then I always say this when I'm training. Like um, young girls getting into social media and then they lose their way mm. and then it's a shoe game and the selfies and the hair on fleek right you are a makeup artist i mean if you talk about your hair make sure you mention something about makeup right. if you take a selfie make sure you have on a gloss that you're marketing mm. you know just be smart everything about it needs to be strategic exactly. but i also like one thing that i'm going to take with me yeah. you have to be personal yeah. and you have to be in touch yeah. but you also have to be innovative yeah. because you know 2020 threw a curveball to many yeah. uh businesses and, and yeah. many people didn't know how to stay afloat yeah. and stay relevant yeah. and uh it's no ordinary feat you've yeah. been doing this for 13 years yeah. what's in store for rose um, for 2021. Oh my God. I just started my own makeup brand. A we Kenyan, are launching this week. A Kenyan yes. makeup brand. Manufactured in Canada. It is, oh my God. Man. 
this method, I have been a makeup artist for 13 years. I have tried every brand. Using other people's Dior, products. Dior, makeup, MAC, everything. Now, Rubiela is... Wow. Yes. Listen, we're going to have you back here yes. again so we can talk about this, um, yes. you know, makeup artist turned, you yes. know, um, makeup brand owner. Yes. And uh, it's all 100% Kenya. Your, your, your story is, is so inspiring. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we like to do this from time to time and, yeah. and have real conversations. Yeah. There's a couple of things we can pick from this. But uh, if we want to continue the conversation with yes. you, how can we find you on social media? Because I need those lashes. Yes. On <laughs> I, I'm actually sending them to you. So on Instagram, we are makeup by Rose. That's make make underscore up by Rose. Yes. On Facebook, it's makeup by Rose. You Everywhere look, it's makeup by Rose. You look gorgeous. Thank you. So You're much. too real. Thank you. And sometimes the world doesn't want you too real. Yeah. You know, it's they quite hate unfortunate. You for that. Yes. They hate you for that. But I like that you keep doing what you do. You're fabulous. You're beautiful. Thank you. And thank you for opening doors to other women and other people that want to do I love this. It. Thank love you. It. Thank you, Monica. Are there guys at the academy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men many, coming many to guys. train? Yeah, we train guys as well. Both on skincare and makeup. The show goes on. It is exactly 5 p.m. I've got a DM coming up. <laughs> Shout out to Rose. It's like half an hour and it feels like forever. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. You're a darling.